So today we're going to learn how to make this 3D cross-shaped logo in Adobe Illustrator. To begin with, make a new document. And I've got this as 1250 by 1250 pixels and in the RGB color mode. First, we want to draw a 2D shape, which we can then build the 3D upon. So select a rectangle, click, and we'll make this 1000 by 225, okay. Then get the direct selection tool and holding shift, click on each of these small circles in the corners. These are the corner anchor points. And then still holding shift, click and drag them to the center so the rectangle gets nice rounded ends. Then copy the rectangle and holding shift, rotate that copy. 90 degrees and we get that lined up to the center and select both get the shape builder tool over here on the left and then drag over the lines that are inside the shape so now we've got one single shape and we'll just move this to the center of the document there we go and just change the color so it's a nice light blue so double click here and then 66CCFF. Okay. And just get rid of that stroke on the outside. Now we've got the basic shape. So select it, go effect, 3D and materials, and inflate. Just move that out of the way. So you can change the angle by clicking and dragging, or you can adjust it in the menu over here. So I'll make it 29 by 25 by 36. And then to fine tune the shape, we need to adjust the settings up here. So you can make the shape really long using the depth, uh, but we'll make that 62. And then the volume adjusts the size of the bulge. So I'll go with 42% there. And the last thing on this menu is to tick the inflate both sides box. Then we want to change the lighting. This is really important. You want to get a nice graphic look to the image. So we go to the lighting tab, bring the intensity right up to the maximum. And you can use the rotation bar to change where the light source is positioned. So we'll get this down to about minus 110. And then we could bring the height up a bit, uh, just to 54. And now we can add a backdrop. So just make a new layer, put it behind the first one. Get a rectangle, drag it so it covers the whole artboard. And then we just change the color. Make sure you don't have this selected. And we will make it 42B7E5. Okay, finally, we want to add a shadow. So we'll copy layer one and then make that copy invisible. Click on the shape and then go down here to shadows and just switch that on. Scroll down. We want to make sure that's behind the object. You can leave these settings as they are. The problem is at the moment, this shadow has a uneven edge to it that doesn't look great. Uh, so to fix this, you can click this icon here. So now the shadow looks great, but we've lost the clean graphic appearance of the cross. So if we just deselect and then make the layer one copy visible again. Perfect. Now for a finishing touch, uh, just click on the shadow and bring the opacity down to 80%. And there we go. A beautiful X-shaped logo. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.